I found this rotary phone in my basement, and by the end of the video, I'm gonna use it to call my grandma. Doing the squats, doing the squats. This big dial looks like the one you have on your new telephone. By the 50s and 60s, rotary phones were everywhere. It won't be long now until your new dial telephones are ready to serve you. And by now, my Tide Pod eating generation has no idea how this works. They need to come up with like a phone that stays in the house. So if you need any person in the house, you can call that phone. Like it's not one person's number, it's just the whole family. Um, but if you're like a developer of stuff, reach out because we think it's an awesome idea and maybe a money maker. I want to call my grandma, so we have to figure out how to get this thing to work. This is a voice over IP box, meaning instead of using the traditional phone line that your grandma would have used, this thing uses the internet. And it uses Google Voice, which is a service that is completely free. So now all we got to do is plug in the phone and it works, right? Right? No, let's transition. You see, old rotary phones dial using electrical pulses that at the time of your grandma would get sent to a telephone exchange. The number of pulses sent corresponded to the digit that was dialed. So, dialing one would send one pulse, dialing two would send two pulses, and so on. From there, the phone exchange would route the call to the desired destination. All right, now everybody whip out your Snapchat machine and open up the phone app that your mom still uses. Tap the numbers. You hear that? That's called a tone. Transition again. So, in 1963, AT&T rolled out push-button dialing using tones. They had concluded that buttons with tones were about twice as efficient as rotary dialing with pulses. So if you think about it, rotary phones are limited by a single pulse without any variation. If we dial nine on a rotary phone, that's nine pulses that are required to represent that single number nine. With push tones, that same number nine can be represented by one sound. So all of that was an overly complicated way of saying that our new little internet phone box here doesn't know what the heck our old rotary phone is saying. The rotary phone uses pulses, but the phone box uses tones. So we need a pulse to tone converter. All right, so we are finally ready to go. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the phone cable and we're gonna plug it into the pulse to tone converter. This pulse to tone converter is gonna make it so that we can take the old pulses from the rotary phone and convert it to the new tones, beep boop beep boop, that uh, your smartphone uses. And then you'll take that pulse to tone converter, the other end, and plug it into the voice over IP box. This is gonna connect the phone to the internet so that you can call over the internet. Now, the voice over IP box uh, needs an internet connection, so you gotta plug that in to an ethernet cable. Here we go, now we are ready. Seven. Oh. When dialing, notice that I brought my finger around until it firmly touched the finger stop. And now, I remove my finger. It's ringing. This is Mike. Hello? That wasn't Grandma. Hi, Henry. Hi, Grandma. You don't usually call. How's your Yeah, great? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing Good. Good. Well, I'm just calling uh, to check in. I am actually calling you on a rotary phone. Oh. So, like, does it sound old? Actually, no, it sounds yeah. quite good. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, um. Uh, hey, Henry. Yeah. I'm going to go because Grandpa's climbing up in a tree to cut a branch. So, I love you. I love uh, you, too. We're getting too old for this yeah. stuff. Anyway, love you. I love you, too. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.